A Bellator feature fight at the catch weight of 179 pounds, Richard Bupanavong versus David Rickles. The bell in round number one. Well, both guys coming out strong. Bupanavong, I think, wants to close the distance and get inside, but he's eating punches doing it. Bupanavong is in the white trunks. Rickles is in the black trunks. Kevin Nix is the referee. Getting a little too wide with that left hand. Rickles is finding home for the jab. <laughs> Two former high school wrestlers. Bupanavong with that shot was a high school wrestler in Missouri. Rickles just north of here, about five miles north of here in Kansas. Big slam from Bupanavong. Well, Bupanavong came to fight, making a statement early on in this fight. Bupanavong from the U.S. His dad is Laotian, his mom is American. Rickles coming in a perfect 6-0 and 1-0 in Bellator. He last fought April 9th at Bellator 40, defeated Dylan Smith by first round submission. Now going for the triangle, he's got to pull the head down. And good job by Puvonifon, angling out. Jimmy Rickles told me that after that win, he took two weeks off and he was really concerned about his cardio. He said, I don't know if I can really do anything in round three. I want to end this fight quickly. Really? You never want to come in with that in your head. It's, you know, can I go long enough? Did I do enough? It's a horrible feeling going in there knowing you could have trained harder. Bupanavong said that he believed that takedowns were the key to victory, and he scored the first takedown in this fight. Close well, guard from Rickles. Well, he's short, he's stocky, he has those uh, limbs that, that aren't that long. It's not real inviting for a submission guy from the bottom. It's hard to catch a guy like that. Rickles also said that he wanted to keep this fight standing. He felt that his cardio holds up much better standing than on the ground. He said he really can gas on the ground. And that, of course, is where he is, closed guard. It always takes the energy out of you getting hit as well. If you don't realize, taking a beating is tiring. Still closed guard from Rickles. Bupanavon trying to stack his man against the Bellator cage fence. Let's go with the right hand to the body. Open guard now from Rickles. Another right hand and another from Bupanavon. The two well, he, left elbows. He's staying busy. He's staying active. He's not giving the referee a chance to stand it up. Got to be very conscious of that. When you're on top working your ground and pound, you have to stay busy. Even if you're not landing big shots, you know, these are some nice, good short elbows. There's Rickles standing up. Puts the attention of the crowd here at First Council Casino Hotel in Newkirk, Oklahoma. Oh, Big shot. Hand. Another shot and a sprawl that time by Rickles. Then letting go a right hand. Looking like he wants to throw the knees, trying to show, throw the shoulder of the body. Big shots. There's the knee to the body. A left hand. Bupanavong is dropped. And then he reverses that, gets the top position, and Rickles closes guard. Uh, Rickles really finding a home for that left hand when they were on the feet. But he's back where he doesn't want to be, which is on his butt. Now going for the armbar. Opening it up. Looks like he was going for a triangle, but Bupanavong able to angle out. Bupanavong trying to avoid those submission attempts from Rickles from the bottom. Hammer fist now from Bupanavong. Bupanavong started MMA training four years ago. Jimmy, a great entry into the sport. His girlfriend at the time told him that he was getting fat, so against <laughs> his knowledge, she signed him up for an MMA class. That is great. Honey, you're getting fat. Why don't you get in there and get hit in the head constantly for money? Bupanavong is no longer with that woman. <laughs> I certainly believe it. But he's still in, in the cage? Still in MMA. You get rid of the woman, but you're still in MMA. Fifth pro MMA fight looking for his second win. Bupanavong. And go with the left hand from top position. Right to the body. I think we've established where he wants to be, which is on top in the guard. Getting oh. busy with the ground and pounding. He wasn't doing that well on the feet. A moment ago, Jimmy, I don't know if you caught it. Rickles had the double ear slaps from the bottom. Would that be a poor man, Sakuraba? <laughs> not, as, not as flashy as uh, double axe chops, but there it is again. That's almost a quit it. Would you knock that <laughs> off? Certainly would. A lot of things you do in these positions when you guys cover the mouth and the nose or those slaps of the ears just to get the guy moving, just to get it so he's not comfortable there. Whatever does to irritate him, not to be big shots and not to hurt him, but you want to get the guy moving. Rickles trying to strip from the bottom. Back 
to close guard. Closing seconds of a very entertaining round number one. This catchweight fight, 179 pounds, Richard Bupanavong versus David Rickles. Bupanavong looking for more big shots from the top, letting go with an elbow there. Round number two. Three judges scoring cage side for the Citizen Potawatomi Nation Athletic Commission. Jimmy, as always, you have the unofficial scorecard. I thought Bufanafong won that first round 10 to 9, a very close round that he was controlling more of the round and landed some good ground and pound. Rickles did well on the feet, but they just weren't on the feet that long. Bufanafong is in the white trunks, Rickles is in the black trunks. Made a miss with the left hand by Bufanafong. Well, wow, good right left combo. He just doesn't seem to understand when he's in range. His hands are low and he's getting caught with that left and right. That left hook and right straight. There it is again. Left Big hook left right hands straight. and that drops through Bupanavong and he's in all sorts of trouble. Rickles now looking to finish. Bupanavong again keeping his right knee down. Bupanavong back to his feet. That's a legal knee. And Bupanavong commits to the single leg and gets it, but Rickles unloading with the elbows. More elbows from Rickles. Bupanavong, Jimmy, he told us, we said in round one, takedowns are his key. And now he's in a triangle, it's deep now. Rickles looking for the finish, Bupanavong slamming his way, partially out, not all the way That's out. It. That he's... is very tight, there's the tap. David Rickles now 7-0, gets the second round submission win. Oh, it was a tight triangle, as soon as Bupanavong tried to slam his way out and couldn't, that was it, that was all his energy, and just a matter of time at that point. Tight triangle by Rickles. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, one minute, 11 seconds into round number two, the tap by way of the triangle choke. Therefore, the winner by submission, David, the Caveman Rickles. 22-year-old David Rickles is a fighter to watch in MMA, now 7-0 in his professional career. The winner by way of second round submission, David Rickles defeats Richard Bupanavong.